Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the rearrangement of a series. Now, this is a very weird concept. It's kind of something that just gets thrown in uh, somewhere after you learn absolute and conditional convergence. Okay, and basically what it's saying is, is it kind of starts off with something that you already know. 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 produces the same sum as 1 plus 5 minus 2 minus 4 plus 3. Okay, that's the associative property. You've known that for a very long time. But here's the weird part. This doesn't always work for infinite series. Okay, and we'll learn about what types of infinite series that doesn't or does work for. Okay, so let's to, to kind of see this. Okay, to see an example of when this doesn't work, we're going to consider the alternating harmonic series. So here is the alternating harmonic series. Okay, we know that that converges to natural log of 2. You may have heard that before in one of the Calculus 2 lectures that you have to sit through uh, in, in your, if you're taking a Calculus 2 class. Okay, so the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 1 over n. That's the alternating harmonic series. We know that goes like 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth and that ends up equaling natural log of 2. The crazy thing is that we can actually rearrange the terms of this series to produce a different sum. So all I really did here was just kind of mix up the terms a little bit and you can see that you know if this goes on and on what you're going to end up with is well this is going to be a one half minus one fourth one third minus one sixth well that's one sixth minus one eighth, this will be plus one tenth, and this will go on and on and on. Now, if you take out a one half here, okay, you pull out a one half out of all these terms, you again are going to end up with your alternating harmonic series, but now with a one half in front of it. Okay, you end up with a one half times one over one, minus one over two, plus one third, minus one fourth, plus one fifth, and that's going to go on and on and on. Okay? And what that's going to equal is one half natural log of 2. Because it's one half the sum of the alternating harmonic series. Okay? And we know the sum of the alternating harmonic series is natural log of 2. So that's where you get the one half natural log of 2 from. And that's really, really weird. Okay? We just rearranged the terms of the series and ended up getting a different answer. Well, the reason you can kind of think about this on your own, okay, it kind of ends up making sense after a while of thinking about it. But what you're doing is now you are subtracting two terms before you add another, okay? And what that does, that does is it kind of throws off the whole imbalance of what you're doing, okay? You're adding a number, subtracting one, adding one, subtracting one. But now, as you go on to infinity, you're adding a number, then subtracting two. Then you're adding a number, subtracting two. Okay? And that is kind of what throws it off and ends up giving you a different number. And this only matters because now you're going to infinity with that. So you'll always be adding one and subtracting two, adding one and subtracting two. Okay? So now, this only works, okay? You can only get a different sum for something that is conditionally convergent, okay? For a series that is conditionally convergent, like the alternating harmonic series. So as I was saying, for a conditionally convergent series, if you rearrange the terms, you can produce a different sum, but this will not work for an absolutely convergent series. You can rearrange the terms all you want. You'll still get the same sum. Okay, so before I end this video, if you're still kind of like not understanding that because this is kind of a hard concept to grasp, all right, listen, I didn't get it at first either. I had to kind of just really think about it for a while. And, you know, how I figured it out was kind of how I was explaining earlier where, you know, you're adding one and subtracting two, whereas previously you were adding one, subtracting one. So in doing things in a different order, on for infinity, where you're always adding one, subtracting two instead of subtracting one, well, that's going to throw off the end result. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series.
Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.